What is TensorPlus? TensorPlus is uh, our unique patent pending technology that uh, allows extreme versatility within high end digital imaging. And with extreme versatility, I mean the ability to one second shoot 60.5 million pixel high resolution images to capture the finest details. One moment later, by just the press of a button, you're shooting 15 million pixel uh, images, full frame size, but you're shooting at ISO 3200, highest ISOs, you're shooting at extreme high capture rate, and then next image, you switch back. Isn't that amazing? What does it do for a photographer? What, what can they benefit? Well, I think just, well, starting off uh, really easily, just let's say the high ISO, um, as it is. Shooting in low light conditions, you want natural light, as it is, you need the high ISOs. Um, and by having Sensor Plus, you get four times the uh, sensitivity increase compared to not having Sensor Plus technology. Um, so, in case you need it, you just press a button, you just turn on this high sensitivity mode, which actually gives you an ISO range going from ISO 50 to ISO 3200. That's a very, very wide range uh, of sensitivity coverage. Sensor Plus provide? Well, first of all, it gives them freedom. Um, Sensor Plus, you know, covers full frame image format here, 60 million pixels, one second. The next one you can actually switch by the press of a button to 15 million pixels Sensor Plus mode. And when you do that, you actually get four times the sensitivity, you get at least 40% faster capture rate, you get smaller file sizes you get less moray compared to, let's say, physically larger pixels, and, and you get all that in one package. The sensitivity, how does the sensitivity work? Well, the fantastic thing here is actually what we're doing is that we're combining uh, pixels, actually, or we are scaling pixel size, so you one moment have small pixels, the next one you just scale them up in size. When you scale them up, it's much easier to sort of catch the photons and uh, then convert that into higher ISO. So uh, through that physically larger pixel, we can actually achieve this four times higher ISO as it is. So you actually get ISO 800 at the ISO quality that you used to get an ISO 200. Fantastic. Fantastic. So is it exactly the same quality? Exactly the same quality. You can have ISO 200, full resolution mode, then you switch to ISO 800, sensor plus, same noise level. How does this affect moray? Well, typically, if you, in this case, where we scale the pixels, make them bigger, in this case, we're scaling them up to 12 by 12 micron from a 6 uh, times 6 uh, micron pixel. Normally, if you had a 12 micron pixel, uh, you'd have a lot of moray simply because of soft sampling problems uh, where you have actually interference between the color filter pattern on top of the image sensor right. and the subject that you're capturing right. and creating these nasty patterns you don't like. But what we're doing with Sensor Plus is basically that we are using these finer 6x6 six six, uh, micrometer pixels and we're actually creating, let's say, a virtual overlay um, of these pixels. Uh, so we have sort of the ability to sample green, red and blue much better in all areas of the image sensor, thereby uh, reducing array problems greatly compared to a normal 12 by 12 micron uh, pixel size. But we get all the benefits because we get the sharpness, it's tech sharp, this stuff, but we don't have to struggle with array at the same time. The next thing I seem to remember was smaller file sizes. So how does how does that work in here? Well, well you can say basically just reducing the resolution, taking it down from 60 million pixels down to 15, which is still a nice amount of megapixels. Uh, you've reduced it fourfold. On top of that, we have uh, yet another patent pending technology, uh, which is our IIQ compression uh, format, which comes in two types. And, and the one with the highest compression ratio, called IIQ small, actually allows us to create files that are approximately 10 megabyte large. And this is without any reduction of ability to create details, 
color condition, none of this is affected by. So it's very, very unique. It is not 100% lossless. It is nearly lossless, uh, but absolutely fantastic. possible to have a faster shooting speed? Well, what we do is actually that uh, when we are scaling these pixels or combining them within the image sensor itself, we're actually reducing the amount of data at the very first stage in, in our long sort of data pipeline. And that actually allows us to read them out of the image sensor much, much faster. Thereby, we're actually speeding up things. So we can actually uh, move it from a normal capture rate of one frame per second when you have 60 million pixels then you crank it up to 1.4 frames per second when you're shooting 15 uh, million pixels. And you can do that. Wow. Yeah, and it's infinite burst capture, you can say, because we can keep that capture rate from now on until it turns you off to run out of storage, basically. How does a photographer tie this all together? How do you see this all fitting for a photographer? I think the, the great about this is actually it, it allows the photographer to uh, to get two fantastic products in one because he will have something that's equivalent to what he needed at DSLR for with the high ISO the high capture rate and the small file sizes at the same time he gets the extreme high image quality of a medium format camera with 60 million pixels fantastic color rendition detail level dynamic range this is all in one package and uh, again, when you're a photographer, you'll be asked at certain jobs, suddenly you need to, let's say, do something where you need to work on, it could be tilt and shift in the studio. The next moment you have to be out shooting a wedding, something like that. And these times it's just important that you're able to do something that's billable and you don't want to have 10 different systems because it's just too expensive. In this case, with just one product, actually, you can cover any type of photographer job out there. That's a great benefit. talked about speed let's see an example exactly because one thing is talking but it's much better showing I have capture one 4.6 running up here the fastest application for that shooting um, the phase one p65 plus well, let's see what it can do and this is with the current phase one camera yes with the current phase one 605 camera just shooting away and uh, you achieve speeds from 1.2 to 1.4 frames per second, uh, depending on your setup. And again, for, for fashion, whatever you need to do, I mean, this is out shooting most of your flash packs. Uh, how long can you keep this up? Well, you can continue until your hard disk runs full. Whereas, I mean, if it doesn't ever drop in speed, it will keep this speed, or until you run out of batteries, of course. Yeah. Think it works?